Good afternoon. Women are taking the wheel in what's probably considered more of a male-dominated activity. Jim Shugel joined a class where women learn to drive a yacht. Do they learn this in the Mississippi? Yes, they do. You know, in fact, this yacht, Heidi, is so big you could take it on the take it on the ocean, but we stuck to a safer place, Heidi. We stuck to the Mississippi River in St. Charles County, and the one woman who tried it out thinks it drives a lot like a car. There you go. Thank you. When some women get on a boat, they sit on the side, especially when they get in a 32-foot yacht like the Sea Ray. But today... What we're going to cover is how to operate the boat, boat operations and handling. Teresa like Dorlak is facing her fears. No back seat for her. She's taking over the captain's chair. This is the tachometer. And she's learning every part of the sport yacht. I was fine driving the smaller one. Uh, did all right with that. Uh, got to the larger one and, and said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and I don't want to crash going into the dock. You get that figure eight in there and see how those are crossed? She signed up for the class J.D. Schmidt teaches in St. Charles County called Women on Water. Females learn about equipment and navigation. All right, go ahead and start bringing the power up smoothly all the way till you hit the stop at the top of the, of the stroke there, okay? Okay, more. All the way, keep bringing it up. But the best part, they learn how to drive. There you go, a little bit more. A little more. In most cases, people are surprised at really how easy it is. J.D. actually sells the 320 Sun Dancer for a living, but teaching is the other part of his job. The best part, he says, teaching women who want to learn how to handle a 16,000-pound vessel in the middle of the Mississippi. It seems a little intimidating, but when you start breaking it down and make it easy, it's enjoyable. Easy, easy. easy. Oh. See how much oh, that is? Okay. okay. Nervous okay. in the beginning. I was petrified of driving a two-engine. Teresa is now confident at the end of the two-hour course. It's phenomenal. I, I now don't feel like it's just my husband's boat. It's our boat because now I can drive it. Okay, right. power it up. All the way to the stops. Nice and easy. It allows them to be engaged as a, as a couple rather than just out there driving it. Uh, uh, where the husband's driving and the wife's always sitting in the back reading a magazine. It's, it's much more enjoyable when they're both able to do it. Teresa now finds herself wanting to drive her own boat. Reach over, grab a little throttle on that reverse engine. She handles the wheel so well, she even docks her boat, all on her own, thanks to a lesson from J.D. Now, J.D., the teacher in that piece, Heidi, he really is an unbiased source. Unlike a lot of husbands, he'll tell you what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, help you at the same time. He's friendly, too, makes it a lot of fun, so I think you need to head out there, try it out next Thursday. I think I definitely do. <laughs> but you're already a pro, a I think. No, definitely not. <laughs> I need a lot of practice. Thanks, Shugel. Sure.